12 reasons to upgrade your ClassX applications to version 6.5 Stronghold. Reason number one, move your graphic templates in Lifeboard's positioning panel. New feature, making a Bloomberg type of project or an L-Band composed of many different graphic templates and plugins or adding an animated background to your ticker will be easy as pie from now on. Put the desired object into edit mode and drag it to the desired position inside the positioning panel of Lifeboard. Reason number two. Classics template editors now support a myriad of video formats. Effortlessly import your After Effects animations with transparency into all Classics template editors you will be able to import any video format supported by FFmpeg. Make your lower thirds in no time. Reason number three. New media converter replaces the good old QuickTime converter. Transform any video supported by FFmpeg to a broadcast quality AVI video with alpha channel for frame accurate magical results inside your template editors. The new media converter also allows you to crop the area of your video with unnecessary transparent areas in order to optimize it for real-time broadcasting inside your graphic templates. With a broadcast quality AVI codec, every frame is under your control. You'll be able to seek to the frame, pause on the first or the last frame, play in ping pong mode and back to forth. Another thing that the new media converter can do for you, for example, is transforming an MP4 video into AVI with a codec of your choice. Reason number 4. New Tags Browser in the Classics File Chooser. You will find a new tag-based handling and search of media files on all Classics File Choosers. Add Remove Edit Tags to your media assets and look them up easily thanks to this new feature. You will be able to search files by their name or by tags that you have previously added to them as shown in this example. Adding new tags is done by simply right-clicking onto the file and typing in the desired words. Hashtags are automatically added to each word. If there are several files that you would like to tag the same way, you can do the multi-selection by pressing Ctrl and add the tags from the Metadata Editor panel on the top right corner of the file chooser. When you search for your file, you type in the file name or tag name after a hashtag in the upper search bar. It is also easy to modify or remove tags. Your media assets will be so much easier to manage from your Classics apps from now on. Reason number 5. New Live Video Input Manager in Lifeboard. The new video input comes with a new plugin called Video Input Source. Like every Liveboard plugin, you can manage its size, position and in-out effect from the positioning, settings and effects panels whenever the plugin is in edit mode. I can add more than one Video Input Source plugin to create my project. I'll select the different source from the settings panel in the video input settings section. Fitting and resizing of my plugin is as easy as always in Liveboard. Another news is the VU meter in the main output device panel. Open the Liveboard preferences to set and manage up to 10 different input sources. 
you'll find the new tab called Video Input Manager. Open the MultiView if you wish to have a visual overview of all 10 sources. The Video Input Manager allows me to assign either an NDI source, an SDI source if you have LiveBoard with Picture-in-Picture -picture option, or a video stream or screen capture to an input source. If you put on your headphones, you can check the single audio previews by selecting them in this drop-down menu in the lower left corner of the Video Input MultiView. Note that all audio management is now skillfully managed by the Classx engine. Adjust the master volumes of your video inputs in order for them to be aligned to each other. NDI, Shared Frame, Decklink, Bluefish444, Asia, Colorbars and LibVLC are all supported input devices. Reason number 6. Project Packer better than ever. Project Packer is a wonderful tool for passing LiveBoard and Template Editor projects to someone else. The Classx Project Packer will make a huge zipped package of the whole LiveBoard project, including assets, scripts, data sources and the receiver will only have to unpack it from within LiveBoard. With 6.5 Stronghold version, Project Packer now keeps the metadata of packed assets and has a new preview tooltip of fonts, templates and project poster frames. You can select whether you want to add single assets into your package before the packing up is done in the intuitive interface of Project Packer. The same feature is available on the template editors. Project and template sharing no longer is a problem making life easier to operators and graphic technicians, always. Reason number 7. New audio management. Play your AV clips on any supported output device. The new 6.5 simplifies the media and audio workflow by avoiding operating system legacy audio handling, also known as Direct Show. Audio preview will automatically be available in your head High-quality audio sampling and mixing with automatic auto-resampling to 48 kHz will allow to mix any media source with your graphics. Use the new audio preview on-off button on the LiveBoard user interface for quick operation. Reason number 8. LibVLC Video Input in LiveBoard 6.5 LibVLC Video Input opens the doors to media streaming into LiveBoard. Just type in the media source URL and let the magic happen. No matter what AV format, resolution or other parameters, the LibVLC video input asynchronously connects to the source and brings your media on air with effects and motion just like any other graphics layer. Reason number 9. High quality software chroma keyer in Corel CG 6.5. One of the amazing new things that you can do with the new video input and the new software chroma keyer inside Corel version 6.5 is creating a whole new background to your speaker. The video input may be an NDI stream from a Skype call like in this example or an SDI AV stream coming from the capture of your video I.O. card. Reason number 10. New feature on the horizontal and style tickers. Mask them. Have you ever been dreaming of blending the edges of your ticker? With this new feature you can do this and much more. You may now apply a black and white mask onto your ticker for incredible graphic effects. White stays for solid, black stays for completely transparent and shades of grey will make the blending. The PNG image that you prepare will be stretched to cover the whole ticker, so make sure you create the correct mask in terms of size and aspect ratio. There are some funny effects that you can obtain with the use of masks. Here we show how to create a mandala pattern scrolling ticker and a text scroll within our Classx logo.
For the latter, we use the ticker background, which was transparent in the previous examples. Enjoy the magic playing out from LifeBoard version 6.5. Reason number 11. Many useful user interface improvements. Color labels that you choose to differentiate contents on the LifeBoard contents grid in your project now will color the whole content button while it is on air. The contents grid now has a bigger preview area and shows the preview of images, vector shape plugins and the poster frames of your graphic templates for a quicker and better overview of the loaded contents. Reason number 12. LifeBoard and editors now available in simplified Chinese and traditional Chinese Taiwanese graphic user interface. Get your license upgrade for free if your Classax maintenance agreement is active and download 6.5 from your dashboard account. Contact your Classax dealer if you already have version 6 and need to activate your Classax maintenance agreement. Find out more on ClassaxCG.com. Go to the support section and select CMA for further information. Thanks for watching!